It's such a bummer to know that something I've put two days worth of effort into and that I'm so proud of is going to get so little views. Okay, so last night was the first truly successful trip with Work Truck V2, my e-bike with a rack on it, hauling a BMX on the back with any sort of distance to get to a skate park, ride, and get home. It worked totally fine, though it was like a particularly haggard setup, but it did work. I laid the bike, I laid the BMX sideways on the rack back here. The BMX was laid sideways here, it was really wide, um, and it was like, kind of scary. And uh, I really, I don't like the width. The width is no good. I was gonna copy a, a rack design from a guy on Instagram called uh, Southern. What I've decided to do now, and because the motivation is here, I need to just do it, um, is hybrid my own system around this Evo rack. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see these pieces, these little like pieces, um, I'm gonna replace these with some of my half inch steel tubing. Can you tell? I'm gonna cut at this height at whatever angle I need to. So this will bolt here, this will be cut here, and then I'm gonna add some framing with this to meet it here, and then this part will stick out and I'll bend it however I need to, to support, to, uh, to support, to support the bottom bracket of the BMX when it's on there. Everything's said and done. The BMX should sit on there sort of like this. The takeaway for this is do not waste motivation. So the aluminum rack that's on there right now has like a bar that goes underneath it. So I just have to notch my material here so that it'll sit flush against it. And I'm gonna bolt this part of my custom rack to the, uh, to the existing aluminum Evo rack. And uh, hopefully the two in conjunction will be nice and sturdy and strong for holding a bike like upright like that. And then there's a shape that I just need to cut out here so that the two will meet, like my uprights and then my across will, will meet. I'll tack them together and then we'll just see what we need to do with this end. I'm expecting to have to put a little notch here, bend it down, weld it together, and then I'm gonna give it a support like on the lower of the rack that's there. Um, if none of that made any sense, keep watching and hopefully it'll be done. There you go. There's a notch. Let's see. Uh, Let's see if it lines up half decent. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, right? Oddly enough, it's kind of starting to take shape. Um, I've got one hole drilled. It's bolted up at the front here. Nothing's tacked yet. Um, Okay, okay, this looks good. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go any lower than this. The bottom bracket rests here. The wheels like, it's, it's low. It's keeping everything kind of low so that it doesn't wave around too much. I'm gonna start tacking everything together now. So I'm gonna tack my uprights to my, uh, my horizontals to where the bottom bracket support is. And then uh, as things start getting tacked together, I will uh, do a true test fit and see if it uh, feels relatively solid. Anyway, okay, tacking time. That's gonna be there. Okay, that's, that's what it's gonna look like. Lots of space here for bouncing. Uh, the bottom bracket, I'm probably gonna build like a thing for it. Um, this, like this meta, pretty good, not terrible. This, uh, this is gonna get welded. Yeah, 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 
together. Definitely the strongest and sturdiest of any attempt that I've done in the past. The next step is finishing all the welds so that, you know, the tacks don't break if I decided to ride it, which means it's only gonna get better from here. It's, uh, <laughs> it's heavy. Okay. The rack, the rack itself is, uh, is definitely finished, finished. The last part is to build just like a little cradle that's just gonna hold the bottom bracket at the end of the rack with, uh, with like a little finger that's gonna sit in the, uh, we'll call it a wishbone here. Uh, that will hopefully keep it from, from rocking side to side too much. I'm just gonna cut out like a rough shape with sheet metal shears and, uh, and just like file, cut, grind, bend, until I get it to a point that I'm happy with. And once I'm happy with the shape, I have this like, this rubber stuff that's gonna, that's gonna be like a protective barrier. Gotta admit, getting a little bit of roll here is nice because I want it to, I want it to hug the bottom bracket. So. I think it's ready. Way sturdier than any other ones I've ever built. Okay, riding no-handed with the custom rack and BMX attached to the bike, tail not wagging the dog like last time. This is pretty good. Actually, you know what? Pretty good doesn't even do it justice. This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. Okay, so uh, e-bike with a custom rack and a BMX on the back. I know what you're thinking, like the obvious choice is to just try and gingerly get to a skate park and then like ride it and, uh, and, and then come back. But I feel like that's too obvious. And I don't think it does a truly good job of demonstrating whether or not the rack is truly going to work. So I've come here to the Spindat gravel pit that lots of other people come to all the time, just to, uh, to see what the bounce is like. See if I can make it up this climb maybe with that super heavy rack and a bike on the back of an e-bike. Yeah, why am I out of breath coming up that? Okay. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So I had zero expectations of accomplishing anything coming up this climb, making it more than halfway. Torture test not passed, but suitable for the road, yes. Uh, going from that to this. There is one tiny flaw that's an extremely easy fix, and that is uh, just a swap from using a bungee cord to like a ratchet strap for holding down the back end. The bungee cord just lets the bike bounce around way too much and I keep losing my, uh, my little rubber bumper. So I found some Velcro straps, 
They work way better than the bungee cord did. I just took it around the block. No rear end bouncing at all. Regular riding conditions to go meet up with friends starting tomorrow. Hey, if you don't support the channel on Patreon, you're kind of curious what I'm up to when I don't upload for three or four days. I did a little behind the scenes post because this took too long and I was like, hey, this is what I'm up to. So if you're interested in that, support the channel on Patreon. 